YouTube, what's up? How are you guys doing today? This is the iPhone OS 3.0, which I got my hands on. Unofficial, yes. Um, the official thing is coming out on June the 17th, which is in two days' time. I've had this for about uh, roughly two days, and I must say I'm quite impressed uh, with the new update, and I would definitely recommend. It's a free update, so you might as well go for it. It's uh, well, it's free for iPhone users anyway. I think it's uh, about ten dollars for iPod Touch owners. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the case was. Well worth it. A, a really a, a few good changes that are really worth the ten dollars that you're going to pay. And I'm just going to roughly show you what they are. First thing is Spotlight. Uh, this is pretty much um, what you get in Mac OS X on your laptops or your desktops if you've got one. And this basically searches for anything you've got on your iPhone. So let's put in twi um, Twitter. And it's picked up uh, already. When it, once I've typed this in, it's already picked up two Twitter programs. And I haven't even put the whole thing in yet. So not that you're going to search for Twitter because it's your application and you can easily scroll down. But it can search for emails, phone numbers, text messages, anything that you put in. It'll come up in a list. So it's something like uh, search and find on a Windows machine or Spotlight on Mac OS X. Really nice, really neat feature. The next thing is YouTube. Now YouTube in the first um, OS was not too great. Um, to be to be straight, it was pretty crap. Um, this is vastly improved in that you can sign in to your own account and you can view your subscriptions like I'm going to do just now. Well, not in fact because I'm on the Edge network and it's going to be really, really painfully slow. But I have tested it out in a 3G um, zone and it works perfectly fine. You can look at your videos, um, my videos, and it shows you all your videos that you've got. You've even got the most viewed and it's quite improved. I definitely recommend you going for this OS. Uh, YouTube alone is uh, one way to drag me into this um, zone. I apologise for this because as you can see, or maybe not because I'm a crap camera, but that is the edge network and it's painfully slow. It's like dial up but um, on an iPhone pretty much. Uh, you've got your top rated, most recent subscriptions. You've got your favourites as well which is not going to load again. So you've got that option of sign in and sign out. So I'm signed into my The Unit S3 account at the moment. The next application on the, side, the new OS is Voice Memos and uh, this is pretty much a recording facility so I'm just going to press record and just pretty much demo this for you. Now there were a few apps, uh, not officially by Apple but other uh, developers, app developers similar to this so it's not a really innovating or um, app, it's been done before. Um, you know, I, I had one prior to this as well, I think it's called Voice something, I can't remember what it was called. So, if you go, that's, that's it recorded. And let's play this. I'm just going to pause so it because you've already heard me. And you've got the option of sharing that email or MMS. MMS uh, brings me on to the next thing. MMS is the new feature by Apple. Now, this is uh, finally um, out. It's been due for a couple of years now, not joking, but you know, it was quite an old feature that's available in many, even the lowest uh, of phones. It's finally bought it to Apple and Apple are pretty good at making old things uh, look new. So I'm just going to very briefly demo this for you. It's, not, it's a no-brainer, it's very easy, very simple. Go into messages and if you go to a new message, that's a new message and at the bottom left of where you type in the text you've got a little icon a picture so let's take a picture picture of my hand I've always wanted to send a picture of my hand to any, someone so let's use this photo it's giving you the option of use preview and retake let's use this photo and as you can see it's brought it into an SMS message an MMS sorry and you can choose who you want to send it to and it takes literally seconds to do. Finally, thank you Apple for bringing this feature out. And whilst I'm on that, oops, let's go back to that. In fact, let me open something new up. Um, let's go to notes. This is finally due. A, a horizontal keyboard. Um, 
previously you can only do it this way but hey now you've got it this way pretty cool in my opinion and also the next thing is uh, pretty much cut copy and paste again this is um, quite an old feature by Apple again they like making old things uh, seem pretty new so this again is due for quite a while let's go into phone and whilst I'm on this you've all, you can notice like um, they've actually changed the layout of this page where you've received the call, missed a call they've actually made it smaller and they've made a new feature where not feature but a new setting where you can see yeah someone's called me but what uh, what device have they called me from, was it a mobile, was it the company, was it the landline so they've introduced that so going back to cut copy and paste let's say I want to copy this number here, the one highlighted in blue all I would do is just click it or maybe not, let's go back to that you would go to edit get a number and all you would do is just tap on that once and an option comes up saying select, select all or paste we'll select that copy it and let's say we want to copy it into a notepad go into note create a note, new note and once you tap on it lightly you get a paste option and there we go it's pasted it in well really really looking forward to this for a long time thanks uh, to Apple for finally getting around to this very neat, it's very accurate and uh, works uh, seemingly well the next app uh, which I'm not really excited about is uh, Stocks um, I don't use it um, but for some people, for business users they probably do use it and the good thing uh, in this is they've actually introduced a horizontal uh, chart as well which gives you a better angle of the, the stocks and stuff I'm not going to go into it because I don't really understand it and I'm not going to waste your time but this is what what it pretty much looks like it's horizontal also the camera on this phone they've actually made a few changes to this as well so here's the standard camera um, it, it says do, do you want your current location to be used now I, didn't, I can't remember whether this feature was um, in the previous OS I'm pretty 95% sure it wasn't the case so basically you're allowing your phone to use your location for iPhoto so I'm not going to allow it that was the first feature and you can probably see a small square that is a small square of the photo you've already taken so let's take a photo again of the seat and note one more thing while I'm taking this photo in the previous OS I think uh, it's vastly improved the speed of the photo that you take so this this basically it takes photos much faster what I'm trying to say which is always good the speeds increased and there's the, this, the preview of the last photo that I took again it's pretty I think it's good and that's about it for this um, small review or my views on the new OS all in all it's a fantastic upgrade ten dollars if for iPod touch users free for iPhone users go for it you're not you're gonna enjoy it I think um, with these new features I've seen a slight increase in Safari loading up um, I've seen an increase in the camera that I've just showed YouTube stocks if you're into business the new voice memos is not that well it's it's fine but it, it was already there by other developers um, the MMS finally we've got it internet tethering the reason I didn't go into it was because it's darn expensive in the UK and I haven't tested it out I'm not going to get internet tethering it's um, in my opinion a load of crap if it was free I would have gone for it but since it's not free O2 can uh, you know I'm not going to say it but they're not going to get my money for it and there are a few other small few, uh, minor um, additions to the new OS as in new languages um, and Bluetooth has improved apparently um, the Wi-Fi um, the Wi-Fi on the iPhone has improved, I think it's automatic login but that's pretty much it for this review, hope you like it and definitely go for it available June 17th from the App Store, thanks for watching, cheers